from the last two weeks or a little bit more, I've been totally consumed by this just one book. This book is so interesting that even after a few years or few days, somebody comes up with a movie in Hollywood for this book, I won't be surprised at all. I have been never excited so much in reading this book. Pages after pages, chapter after chapter, it consumed me totally and I loved it. Hey there everyone, Daish here back again with another video and welcome to the section of this channel where I review some of the books. I like to read and I like to talk about the books and only a handful of people watch these kinds of videos because nowadays people don't read that much and it's a sad thing but again let's leave that. In this video I want to tell you and the most amazing story which is going to inspire a lot of people to start reading. This is just one fantastic story. So let me get started with that. A few years ago, I read this article in some of the magazine or newspaper, I don't remember exactly, but there was this article, this Silicon Valley CEO is after your blood. And I got so much interested, I read that article and forgot about it. And recently I came to know about more things, I got in touch with it, like how the things are going on with that particular company, and I was thrilled. So let me get started with the story. So here's the story for this book. And notice, I'm not giving you any spoiler at all. The story starts with something like this. There is this 19-year-old girl about to finish degree in Stanford, just two semesters away, and she drops out. And yes, of course, you are thinking right, there is this new startup coming up. Stanford is notoriously famous for dropouts creating amazing startups. Now, for this, I'm not promoting any dropouts or something, but yes, this happened. Now, everybody got excited. The claim were really big. This nice lady just claimed that with just two drops of blood or maybe three drops of blood from your finger, just pricking your finger, we can run 200 tests. And this is simply amazing. And not from the big gigantic machines, we can run these tests just from a device which is as big as just like a CPU. And the claims were really high that uh, we can get collaboration with so many of the big medical giants from Switzerland or from Canada and this can be revolutionary. This can save hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars uh, for these medical companies for doing these tests. Not only that, she also claimed that every person in this world should have this kind of device in their house so that he can prick his finger and can run some more than 200 tests right at their home all about blood and some of these tests include vital information about cancer as well. Now imagine you can run cancer tests at your home like this is going to be the next big thing and some of the media articles claim that this is like the big apple of the medical company. This company is going to just revolutionize. But as some of you might know that if you want to do something big like this, uh, investors don't give you money just like that. I, I even can claim that, hey, I want to do a startup for uh, a vacation at the moon, one day, one night, something like that. Investors definitely don't jump around for ideas. They look for the prototype. If that works out, investor always jumps in for these kinds of startup. And in case you don't know, startup that includes a little bit about money or banking system or medicals are the most favorite because they are very rare. But if they scales up, the profit are enormous. So coming back onto the story, Elizabeth Holm, the heroine or villainous heroine for this particular book, uh, she claimed that she has even developed a prototype which can run all the tests. Investor were called up, a meeting held up, and she just pricked one of the investor onto the finger, did run some tests, and everything worked out. Everybody was so shocked that, hey, this much small device can run this number of tests and that much too accurately. This is amazing. Everybody wanted to onboard. And remember, now the company's evaluation is in billions of dollar. Yes, I say B with the billions of dollar. I know, you saw it coming. There's a twist in the plot. The twist is that there is no such device like Edison. Yes, she called it Edison, uh, but you'll get to know more about that in the book. But there is no such device as Edison. She was doing all the tests on this big laboratory machine and were just faking it all of it. Okay, I'm gonna stop just right here and to know more about Elizabeth Holm, uh, Story's actual hero, and Sunny Balwani, the other part which is like quite famous in the book itself. So if you want to know more about it, you definitely have to go through with the book. And this is not even spoiler, this story is so amazing. Now this book is written by an investigative journalist who actually just cracked down the entire case 
and the narrative of the book is so good and of course he's a very well-versed writer uh, he writes for Wall Street Journal so he knows how to write and how to narrate the entire story and picture and this is so well written book even how the home uh, Elizabeth Holmes childhood was and all these stuffs are so well narrated in the book I loved it and absolutely loved it now since this book was closely associated with the tech startup and the Silicon Valley and how the investors and all these stuff goes on probably that's the reason I'm more over a little bit like biased a little bit toward this book but again you won't be finding anything at all like this book is not worth reading it is absolutely worth reading every single page every single line of this book is so killing it I loved it I loved it so much that in the last two weeks or a little bit more I was not doing much at all just recording a couple of videos not more than that and just was totally busy in the book hitting the gym reading the book hitting the gym reading the book that's all I have been doing in the last two weeks I know that YouTube expects to record videos and push videos and that's all it expects me to do but again everybody has their own personal life too they should be allowed to read these kinds of book or to have some personal time and that's exactly what I did in this entire video I have been so much excited talking just about this book that I even forgot to name the book. The name of the book is Bad Blood and just of course like always you're gonna find the link in the description section so order your book right now. I'm not associated with the author, book or anybody like that. I just find this book so amazing, so exciting, so thrilling that I want to recommend each and every one of you. Okay just one last thing about the book. This book is like a little bit long and definitely the narr narrative is like too much long. Sometimes like information could have been avoided. Since things like uh, how the childhood was, how the family's dinner were going on in the book and inside stuff uh, about Elizabeth Holmes' life. But I think for book it was necessary, but it could have been avoided as well. It is a pretty heavy book. Uh, the size of the book is pretty long. So in case you are a very first time reader, uh, it might get you off a little bit. So I highly recommend to watch my other book review videos. I have recommended books uh, that a beginner can start up. In case you are a seasonal reader, even like if you read like one or two book in a year, this should be in your list. This should absolutely be in your list. Okay, one quick disclaimer. I'm not completely done with the book. I'm like 80% done with it. Surely I'll be finishing this book like in two days or three days. Definitely it will take two, three days more. But I'm gonna just finish it right now. But after reading 80%, I definitely can recommend it. I'm almost done through it. And so amazing narrative. You are gonna love every single bit of it. Like who was the CEO, where the peoples were hiring, how the firing was going on how she hired Apple's uh, staff, worker, co-worker, how she was inspired by Steve Jobs. All these amazing stuff is there inside the book. I would love to see a movie on this book. Reading is a good habit, my dear friend. Even if you are reading tech books or productivity books or books like this which gets you interactive with what's happening currently in the industry, it is always amazing, amazing to read. I know the world is moving towards video and stuff, but again, uh, don't consider reading as, as anything less or inferior to the videos. I know world is moving towards video but sometimes just sit back relax on a beach maybe at your home just open up a book and read something it will give you peace of mind so take this book and I think you're gonna love it so that's it for this video make sure you order your book of bad blood absolutely I'm super thrilled and excited about recommending this book so go ahead take some time read this bad blood amazing book and that's it for this video I'm gonna surely catch you up and in case you enjoyed videos I usually make tech videos sometimes these book reviews are very rare uh, but Make sure that you only subscribe if you're interested in the tech stuff. I code a lot of stuff. I do record a lot of videos. So you might want to hit that subscribe button. And we're going to catch up later. Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami Eres perfecto